Hey everyone, I hope you're having a great day. Uh, today, to start the hour, I want you to open up and start in your Digital Lab notebook and look over your notes for properties of matter. Once you've done that, please go to our Google Classroom and open up the document called Evidence for Tiny Particles. That's what we're going to be wrapping up the entire day with. Uh, I video recorded quite a bit of that activity so that then you should not need to get up or move around or end up in other parts of the class. You should be able to work at your own seat um, and socially distanced. So if I'm on our Google Classroom, the activity that we're working on is right down here under properties of matter. It is the evidence for tiny particles activity and it is found right here. So let's open that up. The first activity I've created a video of. It has you taking a color newspaper print. Looks a little bit like this. And we're going to put it underneath the microscope. And I want you to zoom in as good as you can with that microscope. And I want you to just sketch some of what you see. Also, feel free to add a description. As a reminder, I can go up here into the insert, drawing, new drawing, and I can use all of the tools that are in here to draw or develop my own, um, my own sketch. If I want to just draw it hand free, I can use the scribble function and I can create my representation just drawing it. If I don't particularly care for that, I could go in and I could grab some shapes and I could add various shapes to this and maybe instead of having to keep drawing those I just cut, uh, cut and paste them. And then once I push save that material goes right directly into part one. So again, for part one, we're looking at the magazine. We're going to observe it under the magnifying glass and then sketch what we are observing. Part number two, there's some vanilla extract that I put inside of um, some balloons. The balloons are stored on the side of the classroom. The balloons are already inflated, so you don't need to inflate them. Um, but ultimately what you're doing is you're looking to smell uh, that extract on the outside of the balloon. I did not take and put any extract on the outside of the balloon. I only put it on the inside. So you're going to look at the balloon, smell the balloon. Um, what explanations do you have for the balloon uh, smelling like vanilla extract that's actually inside of the balloon. What evidence does this demonstration provide that matter is made up of tiny particles? Discuss your ideas with your members of your group, your table group, um, and then write down what you think. Part three is a teacher demonstration. Uh, I recorded a video of that entire lab. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to um, just simply answer questions number one and number two based on observations from that video. For question number three, you have to observe the whole video and you're going to put down the volume in milliliters of the sugar along with its mass in grams. And the video shows that. I think it's important for you to remember, though, that when you are looking at mass in grams, it only wants the sugar, not the sugar in a graduated cylinder, not the sugar in a beaker. It's only the mass of the sugar itself. So pay extra close attention to the video. 
Same thing for the water. We put the water inside of a graduated cylinder. You should be able to see the measurement for the amount of water in that graduated cylinder, which is the volume, and then the mass of that water. Again, make sure that it is only the mass of the water that you are recording. We do not want the mass of the water in the graduated cylinder or the water in the beaker. So pay extra close attention in the video. Once you have filled out question number three here, I want you to jump down to each of these questions. You're going to complete them. You're going to complete them independently. If it says draw a particle representation, you are going to draw. That means you're going to go up here again to the insert function, down to drawing, and insert a new drawing. Again, if you want to hand draw it, you use the sketch function. So question two and question three do require a drawing. If you have any questions for me, feel free to shoot me an email. I will answer them to the best of my ability. I hope you guys have a great day in class, and I look forward to seeing you when I return.